Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio, and today... I'm very croaky because I've just got back from commentating the European International Championships. I am delighted, incidentally. And if you didn't miss any of that, do remember, it is available over on twitch.tv slash Pokemon TCG. If you want to watch the catch-up, I would recommend you do. That's why I'm a little bit croaky, but I'm also a little bit excited. Because while I was over at the European International Championships, Pokemon went and revealed Hisuian Electrode V. And this card looks good. The, the headline here, as you may have seen on the thumbnail, is the fact that for zero energy, you can deal 300 damage. And incidentally, that, that's not some weird exaggeration or any of that. You can legitimately, for zero energy, deal 300 damage. Actually, a little bit more. We'll get there in a moment. So... What's the deal? And I should mention that all of our translations here do come from the lovely Antoine Boulet. You know Antoine's one of our favourites. Thank you very much to Antoine. So, we got 210 HP, which is... It's fine. It's not particularly good. It's not particularly bad. It's fine. But you do have a weakness to fire, which is not a bad weakness to have right now. That's, that's one of the ones that's not being hit quite as much. But what we've got here... For two energy, one grass, one colorless, is 120 damage, and you have to discard all energy from this Pokemon. And I'm going to be quick with this attack. It's not good. Now, you will get Umbreon V, and we saw that Umbreon V did have a pretty nice showing at the European International Championships. And that's about it. Honestly, you won't get the V Max. It's just not particularly good, I'm afraid. Sorry about that. And then you got the two energy, which is a little bit awkward. And just just to be kind of blunt about it, this is not a good attack. And if you ever use this attack, something's gone rather wrong. However, we have a much better attack here for zero energy. Because the Suian Pokemon can have zero energy attacks, just like a Lolan Pokemon back in Gen 7. This attack does 100 damage. For each special condition affecting this Pokemon. So the deal essentially is here that you've got to stack up a whole bunch of special conditions on your own Pokemon and then go and deal pretty big damage. Sounds like fun. Now at this stage we need to be a little bit clear. There are a bunch of special conditions that don't overlap. So sleep, paralysis and confusion, they're all the same. They replace each other. But what you can have is one of them, plus burn, plus poison. And that's got to be the goal here. We want either sleep, confusion, or paralysis, plus burn, plus poison. Except, that doesn't really work. We don't want confusion, because if you try and attack when you're confused, you have to flip a coin, and if tails, you do 30 damage to yourself, and your attack fails. So, we don't, we don't want that, ladies and gentlemen. We don't want confusion. But then again, if you're asleep or paralyzed, you can't attack. That's a little bit rubbish. But this is a point of the video where I introduce you to Automated Arm. This is a Pokemon tool card that says, the Pokemon this card is attached to can attack, even if it is asleep or paralyzed. It's kind of reminiscent of a skateboard. Remember that let you retreat. If you were asleep or paralyzed, this one lets you attack. And this is a super important card, right? Because without this card, you can't play Hisuian Electrode V. It just doesn't work. It doesn't do anything. You know, the absolute best you can hope for is being burned and poisoned. And then that's 200 damage. And even for zero energy, a lot of the time, I suppose the burn and poison, you'd still one hit KO Pokemon V. Okay, fine. That wouldn't be terrible. But it's way, way better if you can add in that third special condition. And that's the goal here. You're trying to get three special conditions. And it's got to be poison, burn, and either paralysis or sleep. Because again, confusion makes you flip a coin. And that's not ideal. But here you can asleep when you're confused or paralyzed thanks to this new tool. So that's the goal. Sleep or paralysis combined with burn and poison. And yes, you'll be taking damage from poison and damage from burn. But so will your opponent. 
But if you're getting big one-hit KOs with Hisui and Electrode V, does it really matter if you're taking 10 damage between turns with Poison and 20 damage on a coin flip between turns with Burn? I would argue not, quite frankly. I think it's going to be okay. So then we get to the question of, well, all right, Wossy, this sounds all well and good. How are you doing this? Well, this is where I introduce you to the new Parasect. Now, the attack for a grass and a colorless does 50 damage, but 100 on a coin flip. It's not good. Let's not worry about it. I'm telling you what it does just for completeness sake, but we don't need to spend any time on it. However, what it also has is an ability. When you play this card from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may use this ability. Both active Pokemon are now poisoned and asleep. And this is beautiful, because now we've got two of those three special conditions we're looking for. Now you're hitting 200 damage, but it's not really 200 damage. It's 210 with the poison, which will get a lot of, but not all, Pokemon V. Remember, a bunch have 220. 220 is the number for Pokemon V, but this is still pretty good. Let's not sleep on this. This is still pretty nice. But you also get the advantage that your opponent's active Pokemon, if not KO'd, will be asleep. So your opponent will still have to go and flip heads in order to actually wake up and retreat or attack next turn, unless they're also playing Automated Arm. But I can't imagine many people are going to be playing Automated Arm unless they are playing something like this. So because we've got Automated Arm and we've got Parasect, now this can work. Now we can be rolling here. And this is a fairly easy 200 damage, zero energy thing. What, 210 with the poison. Now, one thing we need to mention here is that this is not coming in Astral Radiance. This is going to be our set afterwards, our August set. So the likelihood is this is going to be essentially an after rotation set. Which means we're losing Scoop Up Net. Which is a really big deal. Because obviously... You need to be making sure that you can be reusing Parasect's ability. But the reality is, you should only need three attacks with this. To KO three Pokemon V or V-Star. So essentially, you'll just have to play a fat Parasect line. It would be better if we could use Scoop Up Net. But we're not going to be able to, and that's just that. So, I've said we can do 300 damage. But we need three special conditions. I've only showed you two. I told you it has to be asleep or paralyzed, and we've got that with Parasect. I told you it had to be poison, and we've got that with Parasect. How do we find the burn? Well, it's a card that isn't actually out yet, although I rather suspect it's going to end up in the same set. I don't know this for a fact, but I would imagine it would end up in the same set as this, our August set. Spicy Curry. Now, this is an item card I showed you a little while ago. It's one of those gym promos they have over in Japan. And basically, what it does is it heals 40 damage from your active Pokemon, and then you're burned. And when we looked at this first time round, I told you this just was not a particularly good card. And it wasn't going to see a huge amount of play. But I tell you this all the time. What happens is, with these cards, they're often not good until they're good. They're not good until something else is released, which all of a sudden makes them good. And that's what we see here. This is a card which has seen no real play, because it's just not good. But now, all of a sudden, we need a card that can burn our own active. And as I've explained throughout this video, we literally really hyper-specifically need an item card that will burn our own Pokemon and now, all of a sudden, Spicy Curry is perfect. Absolutely perfect. And that's the combo. And now it works. Now, it's not perfect and it's not easy. But essentially, all you need to do, you evolve into Parasect. You get the Pokemon tool. You play this. And then you're off. And it really is as simple as that. At which point... You are dealing 300 damage plus 10 damage for the poison. Now, in terms of Pokemon V-Star, this is going to be absolutely perfect. But there is one other card which is hyper important here. And that is Radiant Hall Lucha. And the reason is really simple. Against V-Maxes, you need to hit 340. That's how you're getting a one-hit KO. Well, great news. You're hitting 300 normally plus 10 for the poison... You need to deal 30 more, and Radiant Hall Lucha says that your attacks deal 
30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. And what we've got here is a zero energy attack with a free card combo behind it, a stage one evolution, a Pokemon tool, and an item card. And if you pull off that combo, which is not the world's most difficult combo, let's be clear, but if you pull it off, you are literally getting a one hit KO on anything for no energy. Like the biggest baddest Pokemon we have at the moment is stuff like Eternatus with 340 HP, and this will get a one hit KO on that. You don't need Horlutra if you're going after Pokemon V-Star. You do if you're going after V-Max. Remember, no, you cannot use Choice Belt instead. Because, well, you need to use Automated Arm. So, no, you can't have two Pokemon tools, unfortunately. That doesn't work. And the question, of course, then becomes, well, hang on a second. Is this just going to be a gimmick? Is this going to be kind of a fun little combo in theory that never ends up working? Or could this actually be a legitimate combo? And the answer to that is, I'm not 100% sure. And incidentally, neither is anybody watching. Because we need to see how the rest of the set shapes out. We need to see how the post-rotation meta shakes out. We need to see how this all actually ends up working. But there is a genuine chance, because this is not that difficult a combo to pull off. That this could become pretty high tier because zero energy, one hit KO, anything? That sounds pretty good to me. And then, of course, you can pair this with literally anything you like because it's a basic Pokemon that uses, you know, an item and a tool and a stage one. So there will be plenty of room in your deck for whatever energy you like and some other Pokemon in there as well. I'm going to tentatively give this four Wossies. I think this could be really good, but I want to know what you think. So let me know in the comment section, would you? Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would you? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.